This is a Sega Saturn to Xbox 360 controller adapter. Here we have a Sega Saturn controller. And you see it plugs in. It's an unmodified Sega Saturn controller. It plugs into this cord here. And it goes over to the circuit. circuit. We have some power. We have a microcontroller with 18 I.O. ports. Some analog switches. And it goes over to a gutted Xbox 360 controller. Now you notice that there's no wires attached to this except for the one going to the Sega Saturn controller. You see I have an Xbox 360 set up. Now, I'm going to turn the Xbox, the Xbox 360 controller on and activate the circuit. See I'm holding the guide button here. The console recognizes the wireless controller. Now, I have control over the Xbox with the Saturn controller. I'm going to show you how to play a game. Now right now the console is loading up Dead or Alive 4. And I chose Dead or Alive 4 because if I enter sparring mode, I can show you the buttons mapped to the controller. Now I'm in sparring mode, and you can see the buttons I'm pressing on the Saturn controller map to the buttons on the screen. And the buttons on this are mapped to what they labeled on the 360 controller. So I have A, which is a throw, B, which is a kick, Y is punch, X is free, and these are mapped to what are normally the shoulder buttons. So I have a taunt and all three buttons at once. And I can perform some moves. Now, I'm going to turn off the console using the controller. Hold the guide button again. Brings up the menu. I can shut down the console and you'll see the controller will shut off as well. And that's it.